Good evening and welcome to Saturday Night Prayer. I hope that today has been a relaxing day for you if you've had the day off and if you've been in work like me I hope that like me that you've had a good day and that you've enjoyed the fact that it's been a bit cooler and that we've had a little bit of rain to help the uh, the garden and everything else out there is getting a bit a bit dry and crispy in the heat the last few days. So tonight is the Patrick Compline. In the name of the King of Life, in the name of the Christ of Love, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the triune of my strength, I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in, in whom I take refuge. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be shaken. I am placing my soul and my body under thy guarding this night, O Christ. May thy cross this night be shielding me. Into your hands I commit my spirit. Redeem me, O Lord, the God of truth. The God of life with guarding hold you. The loving Christ with guarding fold you. The Holy Spirit guarding mould you each night of life to aid and fold you, each day and night of life uphold you. May God shield me, may God fill me, may God keep me, may God watch me, may God bring me this night to the nearness of his love, the peace of the Father of joy, the peace of the Christ of hope, the peace of the Spirit of grace, the peace of all peace be mine this night, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My thoughts are with any of my clergy colleagues and any of my friends from other faiths who are hoping to have their buildings open for private prayer this week and for those of us who are planning to open our buildings for worship after next week we are having ongoing discussions and planning at St Michael's but I don't know how long it's going to take us to plan and risk assess and get everything set up and then when we do open for worship what that worship will be um it it's likely to be different for a, a time than what we would hope and what we would expect so i am um, i'm praying for any of you who are in the middle of doing that planning or even at the stage where you're very soon can open or or already opening for private prayer and i pray for everyone who is missing the places where they worship and the people who they worship alongside it's um for all of us who are involved in some sort of community whether that's a faith community or something else it's a very continuous it continues to be very difficult to be separated from the people who were so used to being alongside and each little community is its own thing and has its own value to us as individuals and to us as a whole so yeah praying for for all of us who are finding our communities in different ways at the moment and so I hope that you have a
peaceful night, that you can sleep well, that your bedrooms are cooler, that it's not too stormy to keep us awake and that you wake refreshed tomorrow, that those of you who are engaging with online acts of worship, that that's something that you find value in tomorrow. And I'll see you back here tomorrow night. Take care of yourselves.